Today I'm going to talk about a scene, a monologue that blew me away. It's from a show in Netflix called Sex Ed, Sex Education, by the character of Eric. Eric, how are you doing? Otis. Otis! Otis. Yeah, his name is Eric. He's wonderful in this show, really, he is. But in this specific scene that I'm going to watch right now, I haven't watched it since, and so I'm going to watch it again with you. I don't have a script that I'm going to talk about exactly the points that I'm going to cover. I wanted to do it authentically, just watch it and talk whatever I want to about this monologue, but I do know that it blew me away and I wanted to watch it again. So let's review it right now. Eric, okay, let's go. In this church, church. They are very British. Yeah, is it recording? Oh, it's recording. Sorry for the. Never mind. Never mind. Hello. Oh. Oh. Like Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Shut up. It's now time for our baptism. Adedayo, my son. Are you ready to take this next step? Do you renounce all sin and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I do. Would you like to share anything with your community? I've done many things in my life that I am ashamed of, things that have made me unclean. But today, I turn my back on sin and thank God for his mercy that I can be reborn and made pure. Praise God! For those who doesn't know, this is Eric right now that's watching his friend going through bath fighting. It's a big thing with Christian people. Eric is gay and he's very conflicted. On the one hand, the church is his home and he grew up in it and it's a community. He finds his middle point with his family where he feels belong because they try to accept him as a gay person, but they really have difficult with this. So in the church, he feels like home, but the church doesn't acknowledge gay people. So he promised his mother for her that he will go through baptizing, but also for him to feel belong. But he's very conflicted after he wasn't able to say that he's gay. The church community doesn't know that he's gay, so you can see his conflict, his pain and difficulty of going through this while denying himself. It's very complex. It is my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unfortunately, due to copyright issues with YouTube, I have to cut certain clips, so we won't be able to watch the whole clip together as I wanted. So yeah, my apologies about that. Eric, it's your turn. Are you ready to take this next step? Do you renounce all sin and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? something that I need to say. Hallelujah. Speak your truth, Eric. I must not tell lies. <laughs> I don't know how you're all going to feel about my truth. <laughs> thought God wanted me to be baptized today. Would you be baptized? And I wanted to make God happy. I wanted to make you all happy. Especially my family. <laughs> but I can't stay silent any longer. I have to tell my truth, otherwise I will be half a person and I can't live like that. My name is Eric Effiong, and I'm a Christian and a proud gay man. I know a lot of you feel that what I've just said is sinful and that I need to pray for forgiveness, but you're wrong. 
my heart is torn because I am in a position where I have to either choose to hide my truth, let it be known to the world, and live in pain, or be honest and lose my community. I keep getting told that I need to wait and be patient, but I'm tired of waiting. Four years. And I love myself too much to not tell my truth. So, if you love me as I am, I will be baptized. But if you don't, then I must leave. I love you as you are, my son. I have my answer. Such, such a powerful scene. I will stop recording. So powerful. First of all, it's so well written. It's the final episode of the final season. It all came down to this moment. If he will go baptized or he won't. But he did it on his terms. He finally accepted himself and he wanted to be in peace not hide himself any longer in his home as a church community he wanted to be part of it but as himself not something that is disguised and he made the monologue that if I were in his shoes accept me as who I am which is something that you don't accept and agree on or I will leave but I will live with myself and he did it in such brilliant way he didn't push anything there's a saying in acting that there's the obstacle and the want and if you play the obstacle you lose you need to overcome the obstacle and you saw his struggle but he stood in pride said his words he was crying like hell and he was in peace he was in peace with himself it was hurting like hell but he accepted himself and that that is brilliant brilliant acting brilliant writing and a wonderful scene Watch only his mother support him in his community was the answers that he needed and he didn't need anything else. So yeah, this is the video and the monologue that I wanted to cover. This is me. I don't want you to be hurt. <laughs> no, I'll be hurt either way. Isn't it better to be who I am? <laughs>